Hi, my name is Karthik Rangappa. In this video, let's try and understand the reasons based on which you want to buy or sell an option. So far in this video series, we've looked at the call option and the put option both from the buyer's and the seller's perspective. If you recollect, we bought a call option of SBI with a strike price of 460. We also bought a put option of Reliance with a strike price of 2560. Now here's something I want you to remember. You buy a call option when your point of view is bullish. You buy a put option when your point of view is bearish. Alternatively, if your point of view is bullish, you can also sell a put option. And when you're bearish on a stock or an underlying, you can sell a call option. Just to summarize, you buy a call when you're bullish, you sell a call when you're bearish. You buy a put when you're bearish, you sell a put when you're bullish. Now we saw how easy it is to buy an option irrespective of call or put. Let's see how easy or difficult it is to sell an option. For the sake of this example, I'll pick an index option. As you can see, Nifty is trading at 17,690. I'll pick a strike which is closest to this. In my watch list, I've got Nifty. The underlying is Nifty here. October, which means to say the expiry of this particular option is on the last Thursday of October. The strike price under consideration is 17,700. CE stands for call option. This particular option is trading at a premium of 272. If I have to sell this option, all I have to do is click on sell. Lot size is 50 and the price or the premium is 272.95. Now here is another thing that you need to remember. When you sell an option, you no longer multiply the lot size and the premium and arrive at a total premium payable. But instead, when you sell option, there is a margin applicable. The margin is similar to how futures margins are charged. In this case, span plus exposure. As you can see, the margin to sell a nifty option is roughly about 1 lakh rupee. I'll go ahead and click on sell. Order got executed and with that, I have a sell order on Nifty in my system. Now just because it's so easy to buy and sell option, I wouldn't recommend you to do that. Options are extremely complicated instruments, although we are trying to simplify it here for you. Understanding the complete nuances of options is very, very important before you actually place your first trade. So far, we've looked at options, discussed the profit and loss, keeping the expiry in perspective. But let me show you something very interesting now. If you recollect, we had a position open on SBI. We had a position open on Reliance. On the SBI contract, accidentally I'm making some money here. As you can see, that, that's roughly about 3,500. Even on the Reliance contract, I'm accidentally making some money. Now, at this point, I'm very tempted to book my profits. But the question is, can I really do that? Or do I really have to wait till expiry to close these positions? Well, with options, you can close the position as and when you think it's appropriate. Let me do just that right now. To close an options position, all I need to do is click on exit. Let me square off my SBI position as well. I've squared off both my SBI and Reliance option positions. I just have the nifty short position in my system and I'll deal with that later. The point that I'm trying to make here is that the premiums continuously change. Based on the change in premium, you can decide to stay in the trade for a longer time or you can just choose to exit the trade as and when you think is appropriate. Now, the bigger question that you need to ask is who sets the premium value? Who is it that decides for a given strike that the premium should be 50, 100 or 200? What are the influences that drives these premium values up? Let's learn all these things in the upcoming videos. Key takeaways from this video are 